Hey guys, Clumsy here and welcome back to ATS Season 2. In the previous episode, we started with the entire ATS revamp Season 2. And we started with a quick job going from uh, Tucson to Phoenix if I remember correctly. In this episode, I wanted to prepare more for the upcoming New Mexico DLC. So previously we went from Tucson, you can see the yellow lines from Tucson to uh, Phoenix. This time we're going from Tucson East to San Simon. And this would, I guess, link to New Mexico once that is released. When that will be, I have no clue, but it's coming. It's coming pretty soon. And if you're not uh, staying tuned to the ETS2 series, the main ETS2 series, um, then I announced it here as well. I did upgrade my graphics card. I now have a GTX 1070. So hopefully you'll get, you'll see better quality overall. You'll see better frame rates overall. And uh, for those who are wondering, the graphics settings, I was able to max it up now because of that upgrade. 400%. Everything is turned to maximum, high and ultra, wherever it's applicable, except for the mirror distance. The mirror distance is something I'm not very brave in doing because that involves a lot of CPU and my CPU is still weak. CPU upgrade is part of phase 2 of my upgrade, hopefully in December. But right now, GPU is fine. So everything is maxed out except the, the mirror distance and the anti-aliasing. That is an MLAA, a very old anti-aliasing technique that's very performance intensive and uh, does not, it's not worth it to uh, in terms of the, what it gives out, what it improves in terms of quality, image quality. So I would advise if you guys can handle it, just stick to 400% scaling. If your video cards can handle it, that will require a lot more memory, but that will make your picture a lot better as well. And why is the music so loud? Okay, something like that. All right, let's get going. Now we are hauling 32 tons of lubricants. I kind of like the trailer, not sure where it's from. Might be... Not sure to be honest, Jazzy Cats or Sisels? Can't even remember if Sisels ha has a... Sisels has a trailer mod in ATS. I know he has one in ATS too. And just ignore the oversized load at the front. I didn't come up with that, the job market did. I think what it does is it saw that it... Uh, this is a heavy haul cargo. 32 tons above 25 tons so it automatically flagged that as an oversized load anyway let's get going lovely engine sound i'm still using google maps night mode gps mod check that out in the where is it steam workshop and we are still in 1.29 open beta they did update recently improved a couple of things fixed a few bugs specifically if you've been playing ats for quite a while well for the the past few days you probably noticed that bug it was also there in the last stream that we had the one where when it rains when it stops raining it doesn't quite stop raining fully that you'll see like like remnant raindrops staying and if you encounter the same thing in your games then that's an, a bug but that has, should be something that they fix now with this latest version of 1.29 yeah what i'm not sure about though is when do we actually get new mexico because um a couple of us were hoping that squirrel would be featuring the new mexico dlc last sunday in the in the Sunday night trucking, in his Sunday night trucking stream, but he didn't. Because usually when he features something like that, like he would have early access to uh, the DLCs and stuff like it. That means that the it release is imminent. It probably releases in the same week as he features it. But the fact that he didn't feature anything last Sunday probably means the opposite. That New Mexico is not yet quite not yet quite ready for full release and I guess that would make sense because um, we don't really have a lot of uh, we still have a couple of bugs 
1.29 we're not sure when it will be moving to a public release moving away from public from open beta so i don't know maybe two weeks from now i was hoping it was this week but let's see we'll see by the way keep your eyes peeled for the graphics improvements because i was able to uh, max out the graphics now compared to before before I, I think i had most of the stuff at medium and only at 200 percent i think so now with 400 percent scaling everything should be super crisp and the textures on the roads on the dashboard and everything should be much more detailed i even saw sometimes like when it was raining and uh so when it rains the, the ground gets wet yes <laughs> And the, but I didn't notice it before. I think that only came out with the, the improved graphics, the upgraded graphics. That the road actually reflects. Oh, nice horses! The road actually reflects and gives out that that uh, shiny feel. Looks so good. By the way, when do we take a photo? That's a nice question. Also, if you look at the colors here and compare it with the old versions of ATS. We'll see a dramatic improvement. This looks very similar to foggy weather actually. No reddish tint at all. Love it. You know what? Let's take a photo here. Oh, photo bomber. This car. <laughs> nah, we'll make do. We'll make do. The sun is over there, I believe. Okay, up top. So we should be fine almost anywhere. So we can either go with that or we can go on this angle, hide the hide that photo bomber from view. Something like this perhaps. That could work. This is a pretty st straight stretch of road though, so it's not too dramatic. But that will do. I mean, that doesn't look half bad. Let's also get a close-up shot of this Kenny W900. Pretty nice setup. I can't remember if this is from a mod or if this I think this is only the default because I saw a mod which uh, had like a quick uh, added quick jobs like added uh, truck configurations but I don't think I enabled it I can't remember I don't think I downloaded it in the end so I think this is just the default truck that is available in uh, quick jobs which is good because that means even if I don't have any skills yet, we're only level 1. I don't think we can see that from here. We're only level 1. You still won't be able to... You still will be able to haul different kinds of cargoes. Even the heavy haul. I mean the heavy cargo packs, the articulated ones. So normally you would expect like... You would only get that when you get a certain skill, but... Apparently not. Wait a minute. Can we do a detour? I kind of like to visit that be a kind of a two-in-one after all it's a pretty short trip so let's probably go here let's pass through there yeah that would be okay that would be fine i think then go back i'm not also sure if Shera vista is an old or new city even san simon i'm not sure if it's if it's been there before maybe they they've been there but the with arizona dlc but Maybe they were just not. Uh, maybe they just added some roads to connect with New Mexico. Slow down. Wow, super hard to break. Because this is a kind of a heavy cargo. Oh, and I almost forgot that I can turn right and right now. In US. Because I play ETS2 and ATS quite interchangeably. So sometimes it gets quite confusing. <laughs> I like that dino. Hey, is that you? Probably not. Truck wash. Maybe that's Denver. The last dinosaur. Probably shows my age. Probably shows your age if you know that who that is. <laughs> trailer pretty nice here and yeah I also wanted to check out the new roads in Arizona which came out with 1.29 I guess some of the new roads will be passing through as we go through here so that's fine 
since uh, a couple of these roads I guess are uh, yeah, have been added in preparation for New Mexico what's the speed limit here? 65 perfect I really like how ATS was made and how they're improving it as time goes along like those things all the minor details that they put all those add to the realism like each shrub each plant they put on the side of the road adds to the entire feel and when they put the signs in and make it super accurate when you hear about it I mean I'm not from the US but we, I, we do get people watching from time to time and uh, they comment out saying oh that's exactly how it looks like that's that's so that looks so real that's exactly how it's set up the signs the, the placements the road markings and everything and I guess it just makes you feel proud I don't know how much more how would SES themselves feel when they hear that those kinds of comments okay overtaking hype let's let's give this guy some space because I'm sure the okay and he's breaking in now don't merge into me oh no a little bit of braking please thank you Whew, that was close good thing this truck breaks pretty well and I think this is one of those new car models maybe we can take a photo here wait a minute take a photo beside the cop why not huh why not there it is it's a uh, tough runner <laughs> well we all know what the brand that is but fine okay let's take a photo hmm would it work with a wider view no I think a, a narrower view would be nicer show the truck show the car uh, no need to show the extra guy behind us yeah that works pretty well let's just include the exhaust in the picture yeah the model's pretty nicely made even has those what are these though i mean those lights are those lights that seems to be facing the wrong way though seems a bit weird to me why it's attached there Maybe that's a specific cop car setup. Drivers with own equipment needed. Yeah, okay. So you want me to buy my own truck? Well, not yet. Not until level four at least. Or three. If we can't really wait. Highway patrol. Also, I'm not sure if, what, if the sound of this truck is uh, default SES or if this is from Krishbom because I did create I did add the uh, uh, Krishbom's mod here uh, Fry Boulevard left lane something something I don't know what it said I did add Krishbom's sound mod here so his engines should be part of the the game this profile but specifically the truck configuration it might be using only the default engines or something so who knows also i'm not sure if you guys noticed but ats works a lot better for me versus ets2 for my system at least it probably has something to do with the, the number of objects and the optimizations and the textures because ATS is a newer game, so they're they're pretty much more of experts now in terms of optimizing the object count and what they can put in, how many how many objects they can put in without sacrificing performance and things like that. That's probably how they put it. So in general, ATS should be much smoother. Also, because in ATS too, we have a lot of mods, and with Pro mods, Pro mods has been starting to learn how to optimize the map but they but initially in the earlier maps they didn't really focus on that too much the focus was adding detail 
but not in optimizing it down to the last frame so that probably that can also explain why ETS2 is lower because usually you're in a pro mod city a pro mods modified city and it will uh, it will yeah be slower because there are more objects less optimizations there you probably see more detail in though so that's the good thing about it stop don't hit that guy look at this look at that blind spot in front can't even see the car anymore that car oh okay it's gonna kind of close <laughs> can't even see that guy anymore wow yeah that's a real traffic hazard i i thought you wouldn't need like because in the european trucks you would have a, a mirror right here so you could see what's in front of you i thought you wouldn't need it because uh I thought we wouldn't need some kind of mirror like that because uh, I mean it's like a long nose cab. Love that parking brake sound. And um, yeah, you'd see in front of you already, but apparently not. There is a certain angle where you don't see anything, and it can get quite uh, messy that way. If you don't see, oh, it's a swift driver, oh, it's a swift combo. That's me. <laughs> you know, I didn't know that there was such a stigma about Swift trucks. And I only learned it when I streamed it last time and I had a, a Swift skin. Apparently, Swift trucks are uh, have a certain reputation. Not going to the specifics what that is, but yeah, they're pretty infamous, I would say. If that's true, or if it's just like a, a wrong assumption by the people, I'm not in a position to judge, but it's there. You know, there's a, a certain connotation there. I kind of like this layout. I like this this intersection. And you know, this is something that. Okay, so I originally come from the Philippines, and in Manila, we don't really have any kind of marking in, in the intersection like that. We have like a this entire square here in the middle this entire intersection is filled with yellow lines yellow uh, cross hatch lines to say that don't block the intersection something like that but we don't have those curving lines which show you the the line you should take when you're turning we don't have those and so and it, it's very useful this these lines are very useful these, these curving lines because usually what happens is it's more of a touch and go feel touch and is that how you say it? It's more of a touch and go situation where pe where cars would estimate where they should be and where they which lane they should land in. And sometimes the estimation can be a bit uh, a bit inconsistent. Some people would in would estimate it differently, and that can cause accidents. Pedestrian crossing. I kind of like that detail. I haven't seen any pedestrian yet, though. That's the missing link. Yeah, that's a missing link. It looks good in terms of detail, but the walking people, that's what I don't see. But I mean, I guess in the US, not a lot of people walk anyway. So <laughs> probably that's why everyone takes their cars going anywhere, like j even just a few blocks away. But you should have those joggers at least, right? Those uh, fit people who like to just jog around all over the place. Yeah, see this kind of intersection? We don't have this with all those kind of uh, crisscrossing lines everywhere. It looks a bit confusing, but it's actually pretty helpful. Because imagine if the line wasn't there, I would have no idea if I could maybe go across here and then turn. So it would be like open for interpretation. If there was a line, then you know more or less which one to follow. Hopefully I don't hit anybody. Okay, good fashion outlet yeah this is pretty smooth now love it okay it's a recruitment agency I also like the lanes how they set it up there's this like shared turning lane that both directions can go into that place it's a pretty interesting 
road concept. It saves you a, a lane. You don't have, you don't need a dedicated lane for each direction. But that can get quite messy, I guess. When it's, uh, I wonder how the rules there are. I mean, if you think about it, if both directions share the same lane, then theoretically you could end up in a situation where two vehicles, oncoming vehicles, can get each other stuck or or crash into each other so I guess you only go to that lane when you're turning already like at the last minute you can't uh, go straight if you are in that lane you really have to turn left yeah, I guess that works if you follow it that way also in situations like this I was wondering because you could turn right on on red right but it's also legal for a car because I see in the arrows to be on this lane and go straight so if this is the case like us we're stopped here because we're waiting for the green light the car behind us if he wants to turn right he's stuck and um, I was thinking if that's a normal thing if that's something that like is that normal for people or I mean, don't they get mad that you should have stayed on the left lane so that I can turn right or it, or is it like a, an expectation that turning right on red is a, a privilege, not a right, it's something like that. So you cannot complain if someone stops in front of you because that guy in front of you is going straight. Is that how it is? Because if it was in the Philippines and you allow that turning right on red, for sure, you would get honked at. You would get shouted at if you stop in that lane and the hero want to go straight and people want to go right. So yeah, it's a bit, uh, bit of a question mark. I guess it depends on the type of road, huh? I guess there are certain types of roads, even here in this game, I saw those. The right turn only lanes. And then those kinds of lanes, then maybe they have the right to get angry. But in shared lanes like that going straight and right i guess they shouldn't be getting mad 65 all right let's stick it there cool so the, the, the w900 is one of those trucks that are a huge favorite with a lot of people I kind of like it as well but I guess it, I wouldn't call it my favorite I like the dials and I like how okay maybe engine braking okay ah oh, I forgot the signal crap that kind of sucks yeah, I still, I still find that sucky. That if you don't have a, okay, maybe you went over a bit too there, too much there. That if you don't have a right turn signal, you'll get booked, even if you do everything else right. I mean, yeah, I mean, um, I like the W900. I was saying, I, I like the dials, specifically the dial for the analog clock here on the upper right. Right to the left of the GPS. That's the analog clock, and um, it's a. I, I like analog clocks. I don't know why, but they're for sure harder to program in. I would assume should have to have those two hands working. So I guess that's why I appreciate them. And um, I like it. The only thing I hate about this truck is when you look back. Yeah. And when you're parking and you see that huge exhaust just blocking your view, how do you park then? You have to rely on your side mirrors like this, which is pretty limiting. Or there is an option if you press number 4. Or maybe it's number 5. Yeah, number 5 like that. So it gives you a better angle on the side of your truck. We'll probably be able to use that later when we're parking otherwise I really won't be able to see anything if I look just left if I just look left here I'm not going to see any part of the trailer at all it's gonna be pretty 
crappy for us. San Simon Farm. I'll have to take a look at that. So let's probably... Actually, I cannot drop this off. Because I drop this off, then the job is done. So what we'll probably do is we'll pass through here. Yeah, there's a winery here. That looks pretty nice and scenic. And we'll uh, come across to San Simon this way. And then maybe I go around like that because I want to see this interchange. That looks pretty nice. Can I go there? No, that's too much. Okay, that that's that's how it goes. Right. Also, I want to enable the option. Sorry. One more thing. I've been playing with this setting offline, and I kind of like it. You know how you have the navigation mode, so you can actually pick the small roads, and it would reroute you take you across the longer route but it would allow you to explore more of the exciting areas so if i remove the gps see what it does um come on remove see what it does instead of going straight via i-10 it specifically makes us go around so it automates the entire detour system and i kind of like it so let's go with that and explore the place better yeah like basically i'm just delaying the episode because i still want to drive I don't want it to be over yet and i'm not used to having these very short episodes i'm used to having like 40 to one hour 40 minute to one hour episodes oh i'm a bit too fast good Needed a bit of service braking help there. I break too late. Yeah, I still haven't adjusted because of this trailer. This is a pretty heavy trailer. See those things? This call box, for example. It's pretty detailed. Attention to detail. Small things. It even has like solar panels on the top to probably power it. Huh? So it doesn't need like an, a separate electric line, probably. So it's like solar powered. Things like that. I mean, they add those little things to the map and uh, stack them one on top of each other. They all turn into this cohesive scenery that's super realistic and pleasure to drive at. El Gallo Winery? I guess that's a real thing. That must be from a mod that I have, the real company's mod. Also, if you look at the road, the textures are much more detailed now. I mentioned this in the main series, but when I upgraded my video card and when I was able to max out the graphics, I didn't realize how much I was missing before. Like from a medium to a high and ultra setting, I thought there would be like minimal differences. Like you wouldn't even notice it, but actually you kind of do. As you drive along, you see these, oh, nice farm. You see these minor details that catch your attention and they just like, wow, I didn't see that before. Especially when it rains, guys, especially when it rains, you love it. Like the ground will be all be shiny and stuff, the truck, the raindrops and everything. Even the raindrops, I think, have improved when I switch from medium to ultra. So weather effects have improved as well. nice this is a pretty scenic and nice view i like it because going through an interstate is all all nice and fine but sometimes it can get quite repetitive right just going through a straight line the entire way what is that was there a view there not really and it's hard to drive in a straight line when you're not facing in front Why is there smoke there? Probably just the wind, huh? Yeah, probably. And we have some kind of... Uh, what do you call that? Wind vane? There's even uh, like a demolished truck there. And some lady walking. Pretty nice. Someone lives there apparently. 
maybe the farmer of this field. This looks like a pretty huge space that's... Uh, I'm still not used to it, you know, having such a huge area where nothing's in there. Because Singapore, Singapore is a very small, very, very small country. And uh, like you, you would never see, almost never see a space like this. It would be utilized in some way. It would either be buildings or and that's what I like about Singapore though you would expect because it's so small and it's a city you'd expect like buildings all over the place but it's actually not the urban planning is very good here in this country that they actually take into account uh, having like green zones so having parks and uh, nice sceneries where you could walk around jog around spend time with the family so it, they do have these huge places with uh, scenic areas and they didn't just fill everything with buildings that's something that really surprised me when i started exploring singapore like the urban planning is just really good they were able to start it right they're a very young country so they they were and they were able to get all the best practices in and so i think they're headed the very the right direction now this is the one that's going to connect to uh, new mexico dlc i believe Yes, that one. Let's go and stop here. That one is going to New Mexico. Can you maybe fly there? One sec, let's just try this, okay? And my engine died. Forgot to go to neutral. But let's fly and see what's, what's in there. Yeah, this is the one going to New Mexico. And I'm seeing a sign there. Probably welcome to New Mexico. There it is. There it is. The land of enchantment. Welcome. I like the chili. <laughs> I wonder how much we can see. Strange sounding truck that is. Oh, look at this. It's actually pretty well made now. When does it end? I mean, there's even like a, a truck stop here. And then it ends, okay. I see. But that's pretty huge. That's covering so much. Although, currently, we can only drive until this point, and we've caused quite a ruckus already. We can't really go there. In here, we can't really pass through as well. But I heard that you can go through the, the roads. Is it here? No, oh, it's still blocked. How about there? there? They even have like rail stations in here. Oh, this feels like transport fever now. Okay, cool, cool. Everybody's just stopped and chilling. They're not even honking at me. Wow, the people here must be very chill, huh? It's like, okay, take your time. No worries. It's, like, it's not like we're rushing anywhere. <laughs> can just enjoy the scenery here. Yeah, everything is blocked. Ouch. Everything is blocked. Even this point. Can't even use the other lanes. KJ. Expects delivery very soon. No problem. I'm just around the corner. Just enjoying the view here. No worries. We'll make it. I hope. Yeah, we'll make it. Two hours still to go. We have two hours to park this thing. Hopefully that should be more than enough. But I'm not sure what kind of parking this uh, establishment will take. This looks like a more uh, like a European type of interchange intersection. 25. This is what I hate about Arizona. 25 mile speed limit. It feels so slow in the US, but when you convert it, that's like, what? A little less than 50, I guess, kilometers per hour. So it's a bit slower even versus Europe. But it's not that far. It feels so slow though, because probably of the, the hugeness of the roads. Okay, let's check where they want to park. They want us to park. Where do you need it? Okay, let's go with that. Should be quick. Hopefully. Right, let's see. What are those? 
Oh, those are the, the barriers. The barriers are visible from here. So they want us to park uh, probably behind those boxes, those crates. Oh, there it is. Why oh, do you have these forklifts getting in the way though? Don't hit that piece. Oh yeah, probably going to use view number 5 here. Yeah, and they'll uh, give you a perfect example for this, alright? Like that. You don't see your trailer at all. But if, if you press number 5, then you, you see it. It's like you're sticking your head out a bit more. And I don't categorize this as cheating. Because it, it's like it's all within the range of your head anyway. You're just sticking it out a little bit longer. <laughs> a little bit farther away. I hope I'm not gonna hit any other thing on the side so I'm not looking. Can't really see it. Right? Is that look good? It's kind of crooked but you can adjust it easily. Looks good. Let's just steer and correct. Okay, I think I can go back here now. Bring it back. Yeah, I can't see anything. I'll have to trust the side mirrors. There we go. That was all fine and dandy. So that's a quick tip for you if you're having trouble with parking the W900, right? Just press number 5. Right. That's good. That's a perfect parking actually. Nice. Decouple that and let's get our money. Let's get our XP. 2932, 413 XP. Level me up. There we go. Perfect. Uh, let's go and get some high value cargo in here. Good. Well, that is going to be it for this episode. Wow, that's a, that was a short one, 40 minutes. Actually, that's just perfect. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed that quick trip. Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more updates. If you have any suggestions, try to uh, like mod suggestions or changes in volume or anything, let me know, right? Looking forward to your comments, let me know. And yeah, please feel free to uh, share with your friends and uh, like the video if you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Clumsy trucking everyone. Bye-bye.